A day that was supposed to bring joy is now a tearful reminder for family and friends. Diana Alvarez's family hoped to celebrate her 10th birthday today, but she disappeared nearly a year ago. And they believe this man, Jorge Guerrero, now convicted on child porn charges, knows something that could help investigators find her. The Night Beach John Carlos Estrada live from Diana's memorial, where her family, desperate for answers, held a vigil tonight. John Carlos. Chris, Diana Alvarez's family were joined tonight by relatives along with friends. One year ago, they were celebrating Diana's ninth birthday, and it's a day that they remember with joy as it's one of the last memories they have of her before she disappeared 12 days later. It's an important day for us to remember, says Diana Alvarez's mother. Rita Hernandez says Diana's ninth birthday last year was celebrated with family at their home in San Carlos Park. It was the last time some of her family saw her. That memory is now overshadowed by questions. Diana's birthday memorial came one day after the conviction of a man suspected in her disappearance. Jorge Guerrero faces up to 45 years in prison for having child porn images on his phone. Some of the lewd photos were of Diana. And tonight, Diana's mother has a plea for Guerrero's brother, Teto. Por favor, si tú sabes algo de la niña. Um, if he knows where Diana's at, to come forth and, you know, say where she's at. Tonight, family along with neighbors pray for Diana's return. So saddened, you know, I feel like, I don't know. It's can't give up hope. You know, you've always got a hope. And I pray to God, bring her home one way or the other. Diana's birthday vigil also included a prayer along with the candlelight vigil inside her family's home. Live in the night beat, John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now. John Carlos, thank you. If you want more details on the case, Wink News reporter Nicole Valdez went through the trial step by step on our Wink News Facebook page. Thousands of you already have watched, and when we get our next update on the case, that's where you'll find it first on the Wink News Facebook page.